Let's go, Grittos. What's up, guys? It's me, Felicity. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a quick, simple, easy, effortless, I had to burp, beautiful makeup. So this is my everyday makeup look that I've been doing lately, every time I wear makeup, which is not that often, but I just wanted to kind of show y'all because I think it's just super easy, super quick, and I just think it looks so pretty and ethereal and just effortless beauty. But if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching, and thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and yeah, let's get on with the video. Alright, throw back to when I first started YouTube and this was like the only way I did my makeup. It still is, but you know, whatever. Alright, starting off, I'm going to go ahead and put on my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is in my 2020 favorites. I'll link that video up there. I'm just going to take some and just put it on my face. Alright, for foundation, I'm going to use the KVD Beauty True Portrait foundation. I'm just going to put it on my little palette. I'm using my Juno & Co sponge. These are so good. I have not used a beauty blender or a Real Technique sponge in so long because these are so good. You can get like four of them on Amazon for 20 bucks. They're so good and they're so soft. So these are the only things I use. I cannot use brushes. I've tried. I've heard people say they love using brushes, but I'm not a brush person. I have decided. So my blush and bronzer are going to be from the Laura Geller Multitasking Eye Lip Cheek Cream to Powder Palette. So I'm just going to take the bronzer on my little Luxie brush. I love this brush for my bronzer. It just works so well. I'm going to take it and just... Kind of outline and this bronzer is so good I'm gonna have to find it I think the shade is coconut grove so I'm gonna have to whenever I run out of it in this palette I'm gonna have to buy it by itself if she sells it or because it's so good and I have fallen in love with cream products and I had a liquid bronzer but this one's just so much better so I'm definitely gonna have to buy this when this runs out because I've already hit pan and I'm obsessed. So now I'm gonna go in with the blush, which is the shade Tuscan Coral. It has a bit of a uh, sheen to it, not sheen, glitter, shimmer, something in it, but you don't really see it, I feel. But I'm also, for how I do my blush now, is I just keep it right here and I just kind of put it on and I'll even bring it into the outer corner of my eye and just bring it up. I think it's called draping. I don't really know. I watched what was it the show on Netflix Face Off Face Wars? Glow Up. That was I was so wrong. Glow Up. And it was where Nikki Tutorials was a judge on one of the show or one of the episodes. But they talked about this and I had already been doing it. I just didn't know the name of it because I saw it someone do it. But I just really like how it makes my face look. Do I know what it really does? No. And I just super love it. It's so, I don't know, it just gives like a, makes me feel like a fairy or something. And yes, I'm a 21 year old trying to look like a fairy. For my nose, I do use the Fawn contour sticks from ABH. I just kind of go like this very sloppily. And I take the Tresseek. I don't actually know how to say it, Tresetique, Tresetique, um, and I just take that and go right down the middle, and if I haven't slept well, I will kind of put it in the inner corners, but I've been sleeping pretty good lately, so just leave that, and then I will take my little, I think this is a Luxie brush, I've definitely had it forever, and I just buff out the edges. I have realized that I won't even need to really touch the middle. Like if I just leave it and buff out the edges, it just kind of works. And I will just leave that. And then I will also take the blush 
and just put a little right on the tip of my nose kind of kind of like Rudolph and just kind of like that I don't know it just kind of brings it all together so that is pretty much it for the face and now for the eyes I'm using the Violet Boss Essentials and I do the bare minimum so I'm just going to take the color Dusty Rose right here and literally just buff that I start in the outer corner and then just kind of bring it in and then out. Not super precise, but I like how I already have that blush there. So it kind of just melts in together and it just looks so pretty. I don't know why. Just start in and kind of buff it out. And then the good thing is you can always take it and just kind of go way out with it. And it just seamlessly blends. It's so nice. Just gonna start in and just bring it out. I'm sorry if I was covering up for part of it. And I just do like that. I'll do the same thing. I really smoke out the under. So I just take it on the same big fluffy brush and just kind of. I don't know what it is. It just makes me feel. It's just so. I don't know. It's just. I don't know how to explain it actually. I just feel like I look like a fairy. And so I'm just going to take and kind of pad that color on my whole lid just to kind of get that base. I'm telling you, it's, this is the easiest look ever. I just kind of like throw stuff on and it just, it doesn't look bad. I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. This is the Morphe M441 and I'm going to take the terracotta shade and I'm just going to kind of go on the outer corner and kind of lightly bring it in everything's very light just very blown out not super precise so I'm going to go back in with that first blending brush that really fluffy one I'm just going to kind of go over everything make sure it's all blended so this is my favorite part the Too Faced Canary Diamond okay if you look at it it's like really orangey looking but I love it so I'll take it on a very precise little brush and I put it on the inner corner here but what I'll do is I'll kind of bring it up like that ignore my brows there well I'll just bring it up and then kind of down and it just does it it just does it I don't know what it does but it does it I go in, bring it up, kind of in the hollows of your eyes, and it just brightens everything up. I don't know. And then I will take a slightly bigger one, and I'm going to take my, this is just use and use, the Ofra Rodeo Drive that everyone was obsessed with, and I just kind of poke that right in the hollow right there, and then I'll put it on the tip of my nose. And down the bridge and that is pretty much the only highlight I put on the rest is just sweat just straight the rest is just straight sweat like if you see it sweat natural do that's what it is so for my mascara I'm going to be using the L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise I talked about this in my 20 20 favorites, also super, super good. I just, I'm almost out of it. But I think I want to try to do going only cruelty free with the makeup I buy. So, might have to tell this one goodbye. But I'm sure there's amazing ones that are just as good and cruelty free. So, I don't know how many other people do this, but do y'all? like try to not open your mouth when you're putting on mascara because I will try very hard not to and then I'll quickly realize I'm like this but so now that that's done I'm gonna go in with my brows this is the brow bar by Renee it's the true glam makeover brow and I just use the lightest of the colors I mean not this one this one's like a wax but the brown, just take it and put it through the front 
and just kind of pull it up and then I'll kind of just fill in this back because I don't know what it is about the back of my brows right here but they don't like to grow I don't know why but they don't I'll just kind of brush through it same on this side just pull it forward and then up And I'm just going to use the brow gel that's in it. It's pretty dark. So I just kind of start in the darkest, most opaque part of my brows and just kind of fluff it. And then I'll take it and just right in the front so it doesn't have as much product. And then I'll go ahead and dip it one more time right in that. I do want to get my brows laminated. I feel like that would look really good because I do have pretty thick brows. But I just kind of like that fluffy look. So that's it for everything. So for the lips, I've been pretty basic with the Laneige lip mask. And I just put that on because honestly, you gotta wear a mask. And I'd rather not have lipstick situation so if I just put this on the lips look nice I can always pop a gloss on on top if I want to you know if you like you can take off your mask or like an area but I just feel like this is going to be a good look if I do put on the gloss I'll put on the Fenty original one or this ColourPop ultra glossy lip in Atta Girl it's like fluorescent -y. I super love it it just looks so cute so this is the finished look. Quick, easy, out the door, and it just looks very, I don't know, ethereal almost. There, that's the word I've been looking for for like 20 minutes. But super fast, super easy. I do not use powder. If you want to use powder, totally can. I just don't really need to. It's kind of cold today, so it's definitely not like I'm going to sweat it all off. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment any other videos you want to see from me and subscribe. So thank you. Bye.